much ado, let's welcome Bemsa with a clap of hands. One thing I have learned is to watch when I'm standing, else I may fall. SEO is search engine optimization. If you really want to think about it, it's very simply, it's a simple concept, concept actually. Um, it's really the language that you use to communicate with search engines like Google. So really using keywords um, to, so that users can, when they're searching for a product, an item, they find your content online. Okay. In addition to what she said, let me break it down to more specific terms that we are all familiar with. Let's assume you are looking for a particular product here in Abuja. You have contacted your social, your um, close circles of uh, friends and family. You want to find, maybe you want to host a party and you want to deliver a particular um, type of cupcake and you are looking for reliable cupcake makers here in Abuja. Naturally, if your friends cannot give you the information, the person that comes to mind is Google, am I right? So you go to Google and then you type in cupcakes in Abuja, um, customize cakes and so on and so forth and then you get your results, isn't it? Your search engine results are displayed and so on and so forth. So for your own blog or website to rank well among those results, that's what search engine optimization is about. So it's about finding target specific keywords that search engine users are looking for and making sure that your blog or website ranks very well for those keywords. What do you mean by ranking on Google? Mm -hmm. uh, we also use, you said keywords. Yeah, so Jeff can shoot out some of those points. You also said optimize your page. You know? So we'd like to know what this thing is practically in our own experience. What we mean by ranking is, I'm sure everyone is familiar with the word rank. Rank is a way of like, when we are referring to hierarchy of anything. Like, let's assume now in the military, by ranking, you know the highest ranked person is a general and the lowest ranked person is a private. We have something similar to with search results for search engines. The highest ranked results is the one you see number one on the first page. That based on search engines recommendation is the most relevant and most useful listing for that particular keyword. So if for instance now you type in, let's assume news in Abuja and the first website listing that appears there is a let's say daily times for instance it means based on search engine ranking daily times is number one for news in Abuja so that don't mean by ranking ranking is just the hierarchy by which Google uses in listing results for specific searches you may be in search engine. the second point you made was uh, Keywords. Keywords. What you type into the search engine, those are the keywords. And if anything you type into the search engine is a keyword. Like I just asked you to type in Abuja cakes. The keywords here now are Abuja cakes. Or if I ask you to type in cupcakes in Abuja, the keywords cupcakes in Abuja. The words you type in. The most relevant word that you're looking for. Is the most relevant. Especially also if you're a blogger and you're writing about certain subjects, your keywords should be the most relevant word that you want people to connect with. Here's one good way to get more followers. Like, beg everybody in this room, <laughs> and, we will, and at least you have like 420. I mean, smile and be nice to people next to you. You never know, we might just all follow you on Twitter. Where they solve the problem, go call them, say, uh, come on, you get one thing where they do. You can replicate what I did do for Aquaibo. You can replicate it in Kamu. You, let us expand. That is the essence of our existence. Let us make an impact. Any life where you live, where they useful to you alone, a useless life. How do you do this from your own pocket? How do you do this? I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I know the struggle. My colleagues, they go lobby for MC job. Me, I go stay. I got text message, call. hello, Ahmed. I was at an event uh, so, so four years ago. You were the person that anchored social event. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I loved your presentation, everything. And we have one event for social day. Will you be free? Now, what do you think God did do for me? 
my delivery is unique when it comes to anchorship on stage. I try as much as I could to carry the crowd along. That does not make me the best. There's God's own favor in, in the patronage. Because God knows that if I have get this money, other people will benefit from it. That is the reason why I do not go to struggle for these jobs. The jobs come. And when they come, maybe Friday, Saturday, maybe 500,000 now. If I carry 300, give back to God, I lose anything. Somebody go call you. Not be, able, not be as soon as they bring the complaint now, will they put them on air? Okay. Will what they, happens? Will they investigate? Okay. Hey, my husband, they beat me, he carry my children, run, go. Where are you when I leave? She go mention. Which house? You don't report this matter to our pastor. No. Go report to the pastor. If you deal with the pastor, call me. Pastor, you there aware of waiting the happen between these two women and her husband? We don't we don't talk tire or the man know they hear. Okay. What of your parents? Any of your uncle until when we don't do all this with the column ADR? Alternative okay. dispute resolution. When we see say you know what, then we'll tell the woman, come radio. you. That time we will make them public. Are there cases that you refuse to, to intervene in? As soon as it is, you begin to tell me a lie. You know, say I'm not the gentleman. How do you know you're lying? Hey, don't forget, I get small pali for psychology. I major as a human analyst. That same department, I lecture for four years. Okay. Now, what do I have to tell you? Um, if woman start with a complaint, some weeks will start with cry because of the way they turned on too much. Don't be deceived. Some will use the cry to whip some kind of sentiment and sympathy. You just detach yourself from the emotion. Uh -huh. hey, madam, you don't say your husband sleep with your daughter. Uh -huh. Women, they do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, when I be my sisters, my mothers. When a woman is in love with a man, she can give her two hands. When woman don't hate you, after you don't die, she will she hit your dead body. Now, what am I saying? Woman come to say her husband is sleep with a little daughter, seven years old girl. She don't already coach the girl, waiting the girl go talk if they ask her question. The day when she talk her, barista and go, my lord, hey, they, they, we have to deal with this man. I say, yes, just give me your husband's number. She no no. I say, you no know, go tell me, say you no know, get your husband number. Once by where you are married for 11 years, don't tell me that kind of thing. When I press too much, eventually, we just call the husband, tell her and say, how you go sleep? Because now the first thing where they do at my attack. How you go go, useless man, how you go go sleep with your daughter? The man just laughed. He said, where are you did? Let me come and explain myself. He come. That woman leave this man's house. They stay with neighbor. We'll be bachelor. For Maraba. Now, according to their culture, yeah. say if your wife sleep with another man, you know go sleep with her until she do one kind thing, one kind thing. He said because of her children, he know they're ready to divorce her. But according to their tradition, then no go ever feed live under one roof. Okay. Now she don't go in working place. The useless working place people. Because of what she talk, they sack the man for work. The man when she carry complaint for, now God can't use us. They can't give them back a job because we explain to them what we discover. I don't get word where I go to describe the way I they feel if I touch person life unexpectedly. Okay, well, which are, who have you helped that you made it the happiest? Like, which case did you do and hey. made you the proudest? I don't know. No one will know they make me happy. Now the one way mother, daughter-in-law push her mother-in-law away, the mother-in-law leg break, where we buy leg give her. I be now the one way son and his wife pursue the mama out of house. This is day. You know what I mean? I think you know. I think we're all cocooned. I mean, these sort of things that happen and I hear on the show, they like shock me. And I think. 
He has lost the shock factor because he hears it all the time. But Ahmed, can you describe the Nigeria that you know? Like the one that you see every day, the one the one that you, you see and hear. Can you just in a short sentence just describe it? Short sentence Nigeria is backward. Yeah. We here should challenge ourselves to move Nigeria forward. But Nigeria is backward in everything apart from corruption. I'm telling you that Nigeria is very backward. Very, very bad. Until. Until. See, we're all young. Yeah. We're all young. I'm not saying you should believe in what I am doing. Look for something. Look for something to do to contribute to your own quarter. If all of us keep quiet, this thing will continue. It will consume us. Now, so it consume our parents. Then they fear. Then keep quiet. We thank God we are more learned than our parents. They never had the opportunities we have today. Let's take advantage of it. To get governors and IGs and DPOs to respond to you, how do you do that? Before they begin the response, I mean, they call them and they ignore me. Okay, so how did that change? The day where I called the Inspector General of Police, make me respond about one case, you know, you know, he answer me. I gave his number on air. I said, man, could I ask him a question? He no sleep. <laughs> it's simple. Chebi, you ignore me. Nigeria is not going to ask him a question. Now our tax money, they take the pay and salary, they, they give him food. Ask him a question. He say, he go do this. I say, oh, God, you cannot be do more than waiting God don't plan for me. He complete say, uh, uh, in good, they respond. Now he responds. What do you think is the problem in this country? What do you think the solution? Uh, you hear different responses. Some people say corruption. Some people say from the colonial area and so on and so forth. Personally, I believe that the major problem we have in this country is the crisis of leadership. And not just leadership at the top, leadership at all levels. Because you and I can be leaders of our own small circles. I mean, leadership is about managing change. It's about inspiring and managing change. And so if we get leadership right from all levels, and you start to say change, but I want to just ask you, in a nutshell, you know, you've said so many things. What do you think is the major problem? What's the key thing I think Nigerians, all of us, can begin to do that will take us forward? Uh, first thing we then will do, make everything doing normal for Nigeria. You see police where will, will they see anyhow. From the day where police salary don't reach waiting then they give a counterpart for other countries around the world. From the day where police welfare don't improve, police know they think of how to buy boot. Police know they think of how to put fuel for a motorway they go carry go patrol. Police know they think of the children's school fees. Police know they think of waiting go job. I swear to God. Give Nigeria six months. Police go arrest senator. He go give her money, he go tell you no. Check it there at one time. Waiting be our major problem now in discipline. Once that one day correct, senator no say you no go follow one way because he carries siren. Hold up there, everybody they sweat. Pregnant woman, they swear. Woman wake up the small picking, they come from Guagua inside Araba. She they swear. Then one useless governor will just come from airport. Oh, you go the face when they go, they go the flock people. Indiscipline. 